This is Rushal and you are watching Rushal Ajkalsis YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to continue exercise 4.5 of polynomials, mathematics of standard 9. Seven questions of this exercise 4.5 are already done. You can check the link of those videos in our description box. Now, in this video, we are going to continue with question number 8. Question number 6 and 7 are based on identities that is x plus y the whole cube and x minus y the whole cube. Now question number 8 is also based on the same identity but question number 8 is factorization. Means in the previous two sums we used this identity to find the product means to find the cube of the given terms. Now here cube is given and we have to factorize. So let's start the first sum of question number 8. 8 question. First one. Question is 8a cube plus b cube plus 12a square b plus 6ab square. So now in such type of sum what you have to do just check the first two terms 8a cube plus b cube so here x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into the bracket x plus y 2a and b 2a whole cube is 8a cube and b cube is b cube 2a b and here 2a plus b. Now here if we solve this we will get this same answer. Now in the next step what we have to write? Straight away write 2a plus b the whole cube. And which identity did we use here? x plus y the whole cube which is x cube plus y cube plus 3xy into the bracket x plus y. So this sum was quite easy. Let's move to the next sum. Question number 2. Eight a cube minus b cube minus 12 a square b plus 6 a b square. Now here we have minus sign. Okay, no problem. Is equal to x cube minus y cube minus 3 x y into the bracket x minus y. 2a. 8a cube. Cube root of 8a cube is 2a. b. 2a into b. 2a minus b. Now again here, if we simplify this part, we will get this product. So here, straight away, just write 2a minus b, the whole cube. Now here, which identity did we use? x minus y, the whole cube is x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into the bracket x minus y. So, this identity we use and we factorize the given polynomial. So, now let's move to sum number 3. Sum number 3. Sum number 3 is 27 minus 125a cube minus 135a plus 225a square. Here I'll tell you one trick. Focus only on the some specific terms. Whenever you come across the factorization sum, just focus on few specific terms. Only few specific terms will give you the clear idea that the sum is based on which identity. Now here first two terms are perfect cube. So obviously like this sum depends on either x plus y the whole cube or x minus y the whole cube. So here it is 
x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into the bracket x minus y. 27. Cube of 27 is 3. Means 3 cube is 27. 125a cube. 5a. 3. 5a. 3 minus 5a. So, if we multiply this, we will get this product. So, what is our answer here? 3 minus 5a the whole cube. Now, again here which identity did we use? x minus y the whole cube which is x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into the bracket x minus y. So, here we get our answer. Let's move to sum number 4. Sum number 4. 64a cube minus 27b cube minus 144a square b plus 108ab square. Now as I said focus only on the specific terms. Now here first two terms. x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into the bracket x minus y. 64a cube. Cube root of 64a cube is 4a. 27b cube. Cube root is 3b. So here 4a, 3b, 4a minus 3b. So this is nothing but 4a minus 3b the whole cube. Which identity did we use here? x minus y the whole cube which is x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into the bracket x minus y. Now let's move to the fifth sum of this question number 8. Question number 5. Fifth sum. 27p cube minus 1 upon 216 minus 9 upon 2 p square plus 1 upon 4 p. So when the students come across like this terms, they get confused. Oh my god, so many different terms are there. So many different fractions are there. So what is going to be the answer? But I gave you one trick. Isn't it? I told you one simple trick. And focus only on the specific terms whenever you come across the factorization sum. Those specific terms itself gives you the idea which identity you are going to use here. So here, our first two terms are perfect cube. So don't think much, okay, of the other terms. Let's use our identity. So this is x cube minus y cube minus 3 x y into the bracket x minus y 27 p cube this is cube of 3 p 1 upon 216 this is cube of 1 upon 6 now just substitute the terms 3 p 1 upon 6 3 p minus 1 upon 6 and this is nothing but 3 p minus 1 upon 6 b whole cube. So which identity did we use here? Again x minus y the whole cube which is x cube minus y cube minus 3xy into the bracket x minus y. So here we complete five sums of question number 8. Question number 6, 7 and 8 these three questions were based on the same identities. Now the next question that is question number 9 and question number 10 are based on the another new identity, one different identity. And so those two questions we will continue in our next video. So my dear students, to get the updates of that, you have to subscribe our channel. And please don't forget to share our videos among your friends. My dear students, thank you so much for watching this video.